So I've nearly built the perfect internal tool for my real estate business, being able to see the properties in our portfolio, the estate agents on my team. I've also added a calendar view to see when different properties will be listed on the market and when we have different viewings scheduled as well. But one more view that might be really useful to my team would be to show all our properties on a map. To do this, I'm going to add another collection view to my app here. I'm going to toggle on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command D and go to add a new collection view showing data from the properties collection. Instead of using the default collection display, I'm going to change it to the map display option. Now, as I've already entered my API key via the settings, I'm able to get started straight away. But if you've yet to add your Google Maps API key, you might see a screen somewhat like this that instructs you that you need an API key to use the map component. And you can click on the add an API key button here to be brought to the settings page where you'll see instructions on how to get your Google Maps API key from the Google Cloud platform. And this information is all in our support guide as well. Going back to our app. I'm going to get started configuring my new map view. So I'm going to toggle on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut command E. Click to surface the builder sidebar. And then under display, I'm going to choose the latitude field. Now I've already added a latitude and longitude field to my database here, which is Airtable in this example. And these are simply decimal fields with six decimal points. Now I can see that my properties have started to appear on the map here. And in case you're wondering how to find the latitude and longitude of a particular location, it's quite easy to do in Google Maps. If you just drop your pin somewhere on the map here and click on this blue link that has two different numbers there, these coordinates are the latitude and longitude respectively. And you can simply copy each of these into the latitude and longitude field in your database. So going back to our app here, I can see my properties on this map here. And one thing that I can do under the display options is choose to group records by a particular field. So I'm gonna group these properties by their status. And now I see a different pin color depending on whether the property is in an active state or a pending state, for example. And this can help my team more easily find properties on the map. The next thing I might want to do is configure my sidebar list here, showing all the different property records. Like with any other view, we can easily toggle on or off what fields appear in this sidebar. So there's currently quite a few fields here, so I'm gonna take away some of them. Like the listing expiration date, days to expiration, days on the market, and the start price. And one other thing we can do here, if we move the photo field to be at the top, we can decide to use this photo as the card hero image, which makes it look a lot nicer, just like we can do on Kanban board displays, cards, and columns as well. And if I click on a particular property record here, I see it reflects the fields that I've already configured in the sidebar too. Notice as well that when I hover over a particular property, I can see that the pin color changes on the map. And of course, whenever I want, I can click into a particular property record to be brought to the record page. So that's how you can add and set up a beautiful map view in your app to keep track of different records by their location.